Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prachapati and in this video, I am going to solve another question of Pi Spark which was asked in one of the interview and I got this question from a LinkedIn post. So, thought to solve via my way. Okay, so the similar question I uploaded uh, like w one week back where I have used explode and, and split function but this is the extension of the uh, of the previous question okay so here uh, you know uh, so let me explain the question the question this is the data right we have id and uh, description we can say that like id1 has chair sofa tv and then id2 has chair chair sofa tv tv and the third id has like tv tv sofa so if i expand this then you can see the description column or disk column having a type called a string okay and uh, here what we have to do we have to give the output like count of each description or each, each item we can select chair chair repeated here three times right so far repeated here one two three times tv repeated five times right right so one two three four five right so this is how we have, we we have to have the output right so with that what i am going to do see i already given a here a kind of hint to you so we have to use explode function split function call function and trim function or maybe we can use upper or lower function whatever so we'll see so i i'm i'm gonna create a new data frame and with that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write here select okay uh disk or let me not do a disk let me put here disk underscore one correct and here i am using a split function with that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pass disk correct something like this i'm gonna do and here we have select so it is out it is not okay so i'm gonna here do a with column correct and remove this alias because it is not needed and close the bracket right now what if if i do here display this and we'll see what is the output it returns see go step by step and then only we will understand it more so see you can see id description description one having now it is a type of what it is a type of array see array and element is a string type right very good now since we have gotten here uh, like uh, each row has uh, has a new column called array what i will do now i will use the same thing okay the same code i will be using pasting over here and dugga 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 to here i will use explode function explode explode of that array whatever we have it right and here i will use df underscore one now if i run it you will see another data frame which is having like what chair sofa tv like you know what we did we segregated this row into a multiple based on the id right so id1 now having three uh, rows id2 having like how many rows one two three four five rows and id3 having three rows why because the array contains of three length here the array contains of three length here the array contains of five length right very good okay before going to that i would like to introduce the course end to end microsoft fabric tutorial and project it is available on my website geekcoders.co.in if you uh, love you can you know you can you can enroll into this course here i have uh, like this this course having both the things like a tutorial as well as the project so here you can see introduction workspace setup understanding of lake house blah 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 then we have end to end project using microsoft fabric which is having a three hours content yeah so and uh, in next month i will be creating a new project on fabric which will be having an advanced uh, ad advanced topic right which contains an advanced topic. let's go back to the course like let's go back to the uh, here okay so now we have all these things what i will do now what now what we have to do think about it now what we have to do we have to count it right the question was chair should should come as three times so far three times and tv three times so what i will be doing i will be doing df underscore three df underscore two 
and daga 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 uh, okay okay so i will be selecting here description underscore two and if i do here count okay and with that i have to use group by group by description two and count correct and what if if i do here display of df underscore three now if i run this it should give me description three and count column c correct so if i want to alias it so i can give a al proper alias so Now, if I again hit run button, has no okay. We we cannot have it. So here you can see it will look like this. So I can say a uh, count of description something correct. And this has to be this two, and now you know. Uh, uh, so after that, I can also have a rename column called. We'll see whether it will work or not. Disk underscore two should be disk. Okay. Very good. Now here, I did one mistake. Okay. Stop this video and think about it. The mistake is, you know, you can see the array contains a string. Now chair, chair, chair. What if if I go and put here TV like this in its in a small letter, and if I run it now, we'll see whether it will return the same thing. No, see, it creates a different row called TV because TV capital and TV small is not same, right? So what we have to do here. Split right, explode right, explode. After explode, what we can do? We can use here lower function or upper function, whatever. And lower, I think I need to import. Correct. Now if I run it, and you will see now. Oh, next it. Okay. So what I can do? I can remove it. I can remove it from here. No problem. See, it happens, right? And uh, df underscore two, df underscore two dot. Uh, we have select only, right? Uh, okay, with column trim, not trim. I put here lower. Or if you want to put trim, we can also put trim. Now you can see. We have TV five times, chair three times, and sofa three times. Right. So trim. What does trim do? Trim actually remove the spaces from left and right. So what if if someone has written like this? Maybe you know, then it might fail. So that's why we have to use always lower and trim function. Right. I hope that you understood this question, and uh, please you know, uh, please uh, practice it. And feel free to enroll in the courses. There are a lot of courses available in the website, and hope you will like it. And till then, thank you. Bye bye. We'll meet you in the next lecture.